Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this pretty fancy modern house. If you enjoy this video, please do remember to hit that like button. It really helps me out quite a lot. And also, if you would like to make any more of my creations, whether it be modern houses or anything else, check out the card system and the description below for the modern house playlist or whatever it is that tickles your fancy. I've made all sorts of stuff. You'll just have to check it out. That's the card in the description below. But without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. So before we begin, I should let you know that this house will require a 24 block area by a 23 block area. This covers the entire grounds of the house. You shouldn't really need any more space than this. And that is 24 blocks going from left to right and about 23 blocks going from front to back. You also need all of these materials that I have in my inventory and hotbar right now. We're going to be starting off with the ones in the hotbar. And that will actually almost make the entire build. But the rest of them are just for nice little touches on the end of the build, of course. So make sure that you've got everything. Pause the video if necessary. If you need to. Make the grid in your world, depends how much space you've got, whether you want to make this anywhere specific, all of that fun stuff. And once you have done all of those things, we can begin. So, let's say that you yourself have cleverly made this grid in your world. Well, you're going to want to start in the front left-hand corner of that grid, which is this block right here, that I've highlighted in red. This is where we're going to start. Begin by placing a grey concrete on the front left-hand corner of the grid. And go right of it by six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then go backwards by one. And then go right by an additional six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then place two quartz slabs going right in the ground. One, two. Then place four more grey concrete. One, two, three, four. Then Go right by placing five blue stained glass pane. One, two, three, four, five. And place four glass pane going backwards. One, two, three, and four. You then want to, behind that fourth glass pane, place 17 grey concrete. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, we've actually reached an interesting point, because from this 17th block, if you look over there to where we first started, you want to extend this 17th block across the back of the build, just extend it across, it's really easy, until you are able to connect to the front of the build. So if it helps you, you can actually come to this first block and extend this backwards rather than extending across and then towards the front. And that will just ensure that you have a nice big right angle and also square that looks exactly like that. And that is perfection, ladies and gentlemen. Now, once you have done that, let's add a couple more details. So, on the entire left-hand side of the build, we want to place three rows of block of quartz. So going from front to back on the entire left hand side of the build, we want to place one, two, and three rows of block of quartz. And they just want to span from the front to the back, stack them directly on top of each other. And I don't think that I'm wrong about this. We can even do this on the back as well. However, I don't want to say things that are not necessarily true. No, we can also do the same on the back. So once you have stacked those three rows of quartz on the left hand side, do the same on the back as well. So you can extend these three rows across the back. However, we cannot do the same thing on the right hand side. The right hand side is a bit more detailed. But you can indeed, as I keep saying, and repeat myself over and over and over again, do the same thing on the back. Now, once you have worked your way over to the right-hand side, I did say that we do want to do something a bit different. On this side, we want to take this row of block of quartz and we want to extend it forwards by 11 rows. So it's the same three rows going that way 11 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfection. So all we have to do beyond that is just add two additional rows directly on top of it. Like that. And then what we want to do is we want to take the bottom block at the 11th row, so the very last bottom quartz block that you place. You want to take this block and extend it left by two using quartz stairs. One and two. So going inwards. Then place a block of quartz. And place two block of quartz on top of this. One and two. Then take out your trusty quartz slab and extend that second block to the left by four. So this is the top block, the upper half to the left by four using slab. One, two, three, four. Place a block of quartz and connect that block of quartz all the way down to the ground like this. You then want to take that same block of quartz that you extended down to the ground and extend it left by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can extend that sixth block down to the ground as well. However, you also want to take that sixth block and extend it left by two using quartz slabs, specifically the upper half. One, two. Then place a block of quartz and extend that block of quartz all the way down to the ground. But here's the fun thing. On top of this block of quartz, we want to go up by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go right by three. One, two, three. And connect downwards. And that will give you this shape right here. The significance of the shape is that that is indeed the main entrance. So that is where all of the fun stuff is going to be going on. Now, once you have done that for yourself, you want to take this block of quartz right here. So this is the block of quartz that we began building up on top of. And it also has the quartz slabs attached to it too. We want to take this block of quartz right here and we want to extend it forwards by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And extend that block down to the ground, like that. And you then want to place the, the block that hits the ground, extend it forwards and connect it to the outline using quartz block, and then place quartz stairs on top of those quartz blocks. Just like that. Then, place a block of quartz next to the open stairs, the one that wasn't touching anything. Extend the quartz block upwards by two, one and two. And then place a row of three block of quartz in front of this block of quartz. So, uh, so we're basically just wrapping everything up nicely together. Now, if you have a look at that, you see that we've actually made quite a bit of the foundation there. A lot of the hard stuff's been done, really. Anyway. Now, we want to connect the front together too. So, you want to take this block of quartz here and extend it to the left, connecting to the opposite block of quartz. We also want to come inside of the build and place a row of block of quartz behind this row of grey concrete, like this. And then, place block of quartz on the left-hand side and the right hand side coming all the way up to the top. So this is what it looks like on the inside, but the outside is what's more important. We want to have what is basically like a window frame. Then place blue glass in the center of it. You can use either paint or block. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying blocks lately, honestly, but you can use whichever, it doesn't really matter that much. And once you have done that, we can even fill in the top of this a little bit. So you can fill in the top of the window using block of quartz if you like. And we also have to create a staircase that comes up to this second floor. So you see where we have this set of stairs already? You can place another set of stairs above and coming upwards inwards diagonally. And then once more so that you can actually get to like the roof. And then we want to place rows of block of quartz behind those stairs connecting to the outline of the house. So you can see we're, we're just building up the roof a little bit so that we can walk on it later pretty much. And then we want to place a row of block of quartz coming from here to kind of just like it, it basically just solidifies where the uh, where the uh, the block of quartz is going to be. 
we also want to fill in next to the stairs here. Because uh, the reason that I said that it solidify where the block of quartz is going to be is because the rest of the second floor is almost exclusively going to be made out of grey concrete. But leave that bit for now. That's all fine and well. I want to do another thing now. So if we come all the way over to the right hand side where we have the other set of stairs, I want to do a similar thing, right? So we have this set of stairs here on the right hand side. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. It's not we. It's not been that long, has it? Uh, we take these two stairs and we want to place another two set of stairs coming upwards and inwards diagonally. And then place another set. So like just place one row, make sure it goes up to the top and then place another row. We then want to place a block of quartz next to the stairs like this. And we want to box it in so that it's like, so there's no gaps, there's no holes or anything. It's just like a nice straight walkway going up. Now, the significance of this is because once we have done this, we can fill what is left of the second floor, which is quite a lot of it, right? Kind of like th this shape right here. Kind of looks like either like a, a hand that's like giving a thumbs up or maybe like a cartoon gun. The rest of the second floor can be completely filled in using grey concrete. And there's no real easy way to do this. There's not even a complicated way of doing it. All we do is we just completely fill the second floor in using grey concrete. And that will allow us to place all of the detail that we will have on the second floor. Although, I think we will actually take care of all of the ground floor business, of which there's quite a lot. Probably take care of that first, and then we'll take care of the second floor. We can add uh, all of the buildings and stuff that's up here. The second floor is really quite cool. The This house is very, very open plan, if you guys haven't figured that out. There's quite a lot of staircases going everywhere. You can pretty much navigate the entire house, uh, except there is one nice little cut-off bit, actually, that you could open up. But the house is very, very open. You can move around the house very, very freely. Upstairs, downstairs, the gardens and stuff. It's I really do like this house. It's one of my favourite modern houses that I've made. And I've made a lot of modern houses. I feel as though that I say that every single one of these videos. But you know what? I really do like this one. So, all in all, we want to have something that should look like this. Okay? That's perfect. Now, once you have done that for yourself, and give yourself a minute if you have to, even pause the video if you're having trouble. Now, once you have done that, we are going to do this next bit. We are going to fill in all of these, like, spaces that we have around the bottom of the house. So, for instance, where we have this staircase here, we want to begin by placing a row of grey concrete connecting this part of the house together. So like a row of grey concrete here connecting this part of the house, leaving these two rows exposed. Which we then want to fill in using birch fence. I quite like, I, I don't know where it is lately, but I kind of like the idea of just having like birch fence and stuff as kind of like a wall. It's kind of like mysterious and kind of like alluring at the same time. I don't know. Uh, what we also want to do is we want to create some pathways. So, where we have the block of quartz here, or the quartz slabs I should say, like in the middle of the front of the house, we want to place two rows of block of quartz behind the quartz slab, one row and two row, and we want to extend the block of quartz all the way over to the left, and that should connect nicely to those stairs. And we also want to extend these two block of quartz here, running along the area that we just made. And they want to extend inwards to this part, which is where the entrance is. And if you like, you can even place the door. So, like, we, we could place a couple of block of quartz here, and we can place a double oak wood door there. So, you can kind of see how this all goes together, right? We've got, like, a nice little winding path that goes around there. Well, we also want to use grey concrete, and just right of the path at the entrance, we want to place grey concrete right of that path. And then grey concrete connecting inwards like this to box off this area. And you also want to place a row of grey concrete that just kind of like goes around the inside of the path. So basically, it's it turns it into a little square is pretty much what that is. And then what you can do is you can actually fill the area in using grass blocks. 
Now, why would you want to do that? You're probably wondering and asking yourself. Ah, you know what? What what we also have to do, actually, I, I did just realize. On the right-hand side of the square here, yeah? Add another row of grey concrete. Like this. Add another row of grey concrete to shrink the area that we have for this little garden. And I'll show you why in a second, but then you can fill the rest of it in using grass blocks. So, I know that that looks a little bit weird now, but you'll see why we've done that in a moment. I'll show, I, I will show you why. Uh, we can now fill this area in here with like, you know, like garden stuff. L let me show you. So, we can use like jungle leaves, birch fence, I like lilacs, and uh, maybe some lime carpet and some green carpet. So, if you place a birch fence in each one of the four corners of this rectangular shape that we have here, and then if you connect those together using jungle leaves, and then if you place a tall plant in the center, and then if you place like lime carpet and green carpet and some more lime and green like around the place, it kind of creates a nice little effect. It, it just looks quite nice like that is pretty much all I'm getting at. Anyway, once you've done that, we also want to fill this little window area behind the garden in here. You can connect the bottom together using block of quartz like this. And then you can just fill in in between the rows of block of quartz using either blue glass uh, block or blue glass paint. It, it doesn't matter which, it really is just like a, a choice to give you this sort of effect. Looks really nice like that, I really do enjoy that. Okay, so what we also want to do is we want to make some more walls and stuff. So, relating to where we just filled in, you know how we just like filled these two uh, rows in using, using blue glass block? Well, we take the row of two block of quartz to the right of the window and place grey concrete in front of there. Then place three rows of glass in front of this. One, two, three. Then place a row of grey concrete in front of that. And then three rows of fence. One, two, and three. And then a row of grey concrete, like that. Then we want to place a row of quartz slabs on top of all of the grey concrete and the fence and the glass like that. So we've created a separating wall, which is why we shrank the garden a little bit there. It still looks good though. We also want to place some quartz slab on top of this grey wall here, just in front of what we've done, and some block of quartz on top of the grey wall to the left. And you can see we're creating a very nice and cosy interior garden now. I really like that part of the house, and I like this part that we're going to be making in just one moment. I like this part a lot as well. Okay, so just to the right here, where we have this area here, it's we want to take this grey concrete that is connected using glass pane and extend the grey concrete inwards left by two with the grey concrete. That will be one and two. And then we want to place uh, three quartz slabs going left, one, two, three, and then two grey concrete, like that. We then want to place grey concrete going around the inside of this little area like this. So, we want to have a shape that should essentially look like that once it's finished. I'll give you guys a moment to just look at that because I, I think I might have just done that a little bit too fast. Sorry if that's the case, you know, sometimes you get a little bit carried away with this stuff. We want to place a row of quartz slab on the right hand side of this. So, place a row of quartz slab on top of the row of grey concrete that is connected together using uh, with the stairs, like that. And then fill in the middle of this area that you've created using block of quartz. And this is basically a nice little platform. I've totally forgotten material that we're going to be needing is water. But we have just created a nice little platform there. And we also want to fill in this little window area here too. Uh, you can place a row of block of quartz here underneath this window, and then you can connect that together like that. Uh, and what we want to do is we basically want to extend the grey concretes downwards, down to the ground, the left one, and the right one inside of this window space, and connect it together at the bottom if you like. So kind of like this, right? 
and then we want to fill that in with glass. So from the outside, this is the effect that you're looking for. It's it's kind of easier sometimes to see from the outside what you want to do rather than uh, from like the inside out. But that's the sort of effect you're looking for. I'm also going to destroy around the glass panes that are on the ground that kind of like border the house. And I'm going to place uh, some sort of white block underneath them, whether that's quartz or whatever else you want to use. I also need to destroy the grass inside of the pool area. So this is a little pool. This is a nice little relaxing lounging spot. So I'm going to destroy all of this. And I'm going to place water inside. But before that, I'm going to give the area a lining. And by the way, I, I forgot the water, okay? I'm so sorry. I always forget a material. This, this is me. Uh, I'm going to destroy an area so that I can line the pool, okay? Which means we've got to dig one row down, which means you've also got to dig underneath like all of the grey blocks and all of the quartz blocks and stuff like that. And then you've got to dig an additional row down like this. So you've got to essentially dig two rows directly down and you're going to want to dig underneath all the blocks too. And then you can line the pool with birchwood planks because that's a material that we've not really introduced yet. But it is... It's kind of like apparent throughout the house. There's little hints of like Birchwood's uh, fence and stuff throughout the house. So I think it's quite nice to line the pool with it. And then you can place the water in there too. And uh, that just makes a nice little addition like that. So it's it's just a nice little poolside, uh, poolside relaxing area pretty much. Uh, we also want to create maybe some stuff that you would need relaxing by the side of the pool. For instance, a lounging chair and table and maybe just like a nice little table uh table area uh that we can just put like a flower pot on and maybe a little bit of red carpet to spice up the area so like on this little platform here i'm gonna find the middle which is this and then i'm gonna build left of it i'm gonna build a little lounging chair which is basically just a birchwood stairs with a slab in front then to the right of it i want to place two back to back birchwood stairs that are also upside down like this to create a nice little table that's one block away. And I'm going to place like a red carpet on one of the blocks and a flower, plot, flower pot in the other block. Just because it kind of looks nice. And then if you wanted to you could add like an umbrella or maybe even like a barbecue and stuff if you wanted to. Kind of like just uh, in the background you know. Uh, I mean I don't even know why I'd build this thing. I mean maybe just like add a, add a barbecue there or something. You know maybe make a... Like a like some sort of barbecue sort of deal. I uh, I don't know. I I I wouldn't really want to do that because it'd cramp the space. But there's plenty of stuff that you could do around here. But yeah, that's that's pretty much like the entire lower part of the house right there. Let's uh, let's chuck all this stuff in. So that's the lower part of the house. And as you can see, it's really really good. Like that looks pretty cool, right? It's quite mysterious. It's interesting. It's fun to walk around. Let's do some more stuff now. So, the next thing that we're going to do is we want to extend the middle part of the house, which is uh, the top middle part of the house, where we have this sticky-up quartz block. We want to grab the quartz blocks again, and we'll also need uh, blue glass. And we'll also need quartz slabs at some point, and uh, we'll also need grey concrete. So, what we want to do here is we want to take these top two quartz blocks, the corners, and extend them back each by nine using block of quartz. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the other one too. I'm pretty confident that I counted right, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Connect those nine flocks together and also connect them down to the floor as well, like that. Now that you have established that, we want to fill the sides of this in using block of quartz. And uh, this is going to create a couple of internal walls as well on the second floor if you do indeed fill in the left hand side and the right hand side of this in using block of quartz it'll add in a couple of internal walls so that it's not like a nice big giant open plan house on the inside however that is something that you might actually want so you might have to knock for a couple of walls it's up to you so that's what we've created but from this we can make something a bit more interesting so on the left hand side here and on the left hand side at the front you want to move starting from the bottom 
you, you found this block, right? I don't want to go too fast. You found this block, start from the bottom, move one, and place a grey concrete. And place two grey concrete on top, one, two, and then move that second concrete to the left by four. One, two, three, four. Extend the fourth block down, and then also extend that fourth block backwards. And the goal of that fourth block is to come back one row further than the block of quartz. So like if you take this fourth block, you want to come back by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And connect that down. Also extend that ninth block across by one, two, three, and four. And connect down. And then you can connect the corners together on the front and uh, like the front corner and the back corner like that. And once you have done that, we can add a little bit more detail here. So what we have to do is we have to fill in the back of this using blue glass and the left hand side of this also using blue glass. And we also want to fill the top of this in using blue glass. And we also want to come to the front, and we kind of want to fill the front in with blue glass, but first, we want to play, place an oak door right in the middle, with blue glass left and right of the oak door, like that. And we then want to use quartz slab, and we want to place a row of quartz slab that sits just above the door, going all the way around in front of the grey concrete like this, going all the way around the edge of this little mini building right here, and connecting to the middle. And we also want to place a row of quartz slab that goes all the way around the top of the building, it just sits half a row above, and it just wants to skirt around and it wants to connect to the middle part like that. That's perfect. We also have to fill this middle bit in a little bit. Uh, we're going to place blue glass one row inwards inside of the front part of this. So we want to have like a row of blue glass here that just sets, sits like just one row inside that, just like so. And we're also going to want to have the same thing on the back too. So on the back, just like one row inside, we're going to have a row of blue glass just to create a bit of depth. Then you can either fill the top of this in using blue glass, as I'm going to, because it creates more light, or you can fill it in using quartz, it doesn't really matter. So, so far, we've kind of got a cool thing going on, right? We, we've done like half of the top of the house, but that's not it. On the right hand side, we want to come to the bottom front right hand side here, and we want to take this bottom front right hand corner, move inwards by one, and place a grey concrete, and go up on top of that by four, one, two, three, and four, and go right by two, one, two, and then extend downwards to connect to the top of the roof. We then want to do the same thing that we did on the opposite side, and we want to extend the back two corners here backwards by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then connect down. And you want to do the same with the other corner too, but I don't need to count that out twice. I've I already know uh, I already know that that's right, like this. And then we can go through the process of filling this in using blue stained glass as well. So you can fill in the top, the back, and the uh, and the front pretty much. Not the right hand side just yet in it using blue glass block. So like this. Now we have just one more little mini building here. Uh, you want to begin by placing two rows of grey concrete coming down from the bottom of the top on the right hand side. So this row that connects the front to the back on the right hand side, place one row of grey concrete coming down and then two rows like that. And then you want to take the two corner blocks, so like this one and then this one that you just place like the ends of the last row that you place. So this block and this block and you want to extend them outwards each by five, one, two, three, four, five, and also one, two, three, four, five, connect down, 
and also connect them together like this. So you're creating a nice little mini room like that. And then you can simply fill in the sides of this using blue glass. So uh, you can fill in the sides using blue glass. And you also want to create an entrance here on the right hand side. So wherever you see fit, whether it's like right in the middle with double doors or whether it's maybe even on the back, you could place a, an entrance on the back if you wanted to. Um, all that matters is that somewhere you place like an entrance. Uh, it's really not that important where though. So like this, and I'm also filling the top in with glass. So, so far we have something which looks pretty cool, which is that. However, as a small finishing touch, we want to place a row of quartz slab in front of the top half of the little build that you've made, like this. And extend the quartz slab to the right by one, two, three, four, five, six which is as far out as the build comes, and then extend that backwards, and do the same thing on the back. So it wants to be extended backwards and then connected around the back so you have the same sort of aesthetic, if that makes sense, and I'm sure that does. So once you have all of that, you've actually pretty much completed the house. That's an awesome looking house, but if you want, you could add a couple more details, like I like anvils and jungle leaves as a decoration. So for instance, like maybe in this corner here where we have this little pool lounging area, you could place like maybe an anvil with a jungle leaf on top. It kind of looks like a nice little plant. You could do the same thing here, just uh, you could place like next to this entrance where you could place like a couple of, uh, you, you could place an anvil with a couple of jungle leaves on top. It, it just makes the area look a little bit brighter and nicer. And you could do the same thing all over the place. You could add more potted plants. You could do all sorts. But that's that's pretty much everything, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that is the house. I'm, I'm going to look at you. That is the house complete after that. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what the house would look like if you got rid of the grid on the floor, and also if you added some sort of solid color block behind the windows, which you probably wouldn't do, because I'm hoping that you guys actually want to live inside this house. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. It helps me out so, so, so much. If you would like to see more stuff that I make in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And also, if you want to make anything else by me, you can see I kind of make a little bit of absolutely everything. This that I, that We're in a crazy part of town right here. I do a little bit of everything. If you would like to make any more stuff by me, check out the card system and the description below for all sorts of other modern builds, more modern builds, Fun builds that you can see in the background, some more survival orientated stuff, and some more crazy stuff. We have it all over here on the TSMC slash Minecraft YouTube channel. Check out the card system in the description below. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely everything. I'm going to relax here by my peace garden. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys more than you could possibly imagine. And I'm not just saying that. I really do feel that way. Have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. And this video's subscriber shout out goes to Pew 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 Lava Hound 16488 slash slash space Harry Sissons. Could you have a more complicated name, Harry? I'm gonna I'm just gonna call you Harry. You have earned this video subscriber shout out because not only have I seen you commenting on all of my recent videos, and it's always nice stuff, always very happy to read it, but for one very special reason, and by the way, I should note that I am leaving a shout out to Harry's channel down there below in the description, just in case he does have any videos, I'm just assuming he because of the name Harry, I don't know whether he does, but it might be nice to pop over there and subscribe anyway, but especially because you got me with this particular comment, I'm such a dummy, it's unbelievable, here it is, it's, here's a joke, read more. So I go to click read more like an absolute moron and what happens is not actually going to expand because he he, he wrote read more and it's, it's not the YouTube thing where sometimes you know when somebody writes a long comment and then you've got to click read more to read the rest of it. He's, he's just, there's nothing there, he's, he's wrote it. And I, I tried clicking that a couple of times and I felt like real dummy and it kind of made me chuckle to myself. You got me. So thank you so much, Harry. I really do appreciate you. You very loyal subscriber. I do see you commenting all the time. I hope to 
can't see you comment, continue seeing you comment. And uh, I just want to also thank all of the rest of my subscribers that do subscribe. Click the little bell next to the subscription button. That do also leave likes and comment and are just a nice general positive force in the comment section. Once again... You got me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate all of you. It might not have been you this time, but it could certainly be you next time. See you guys in the next video.